don't mess with doctors. So you go back and you look at all the disease categories and sure enough, you're twice as high in all of them because you're trying to be healthy by another race's melanin value. You got to take vitamin D if you live in this climate. You're not getting enough sun. But it's not rooted in craziness. It's actually rooted in history. -ness. And a lot of black people have a skepticism of the medical field due to a long history of abuse and neglect. During slavery, doctors claimed that if a slave wanted to run away, it was because they had a mental illness and not because of, you know, wanting freedom. Fast forward to the 30s. Doctors in Tuskegee failed to treat black men with syphilis just so they could study the disease. Even today, black patients have longer ER wait times than white people with the exact same symptoms. Oh. This history, plus limited access to affordable health care, has led many black people to stop going to doctors altogether. Here we go. The races of humans. This is how races are classified according to white people. Not according to me. This is not Dr. Africa said. This according to John Hopkins University, Emory University. This is how they classify races. Rated one with the lowest melanin content is the Caucasians. Rated two and three are the yellow mix and brown race, which you call the Orientals. Rated four are the brown and red people, Native Americans and Japanese. Rated five are the black, brown, and brown people, which we call the Native Indians from Mexico. The Mexicans, Himalayas, you know that race I'm talking about? Rated six with the highest melanin content is black folks. The melanin causes you to have more vitamins and minerals in your body than any race. That can present a problem. A big problem, especially if all the lab values are set on the Europeans, on Caucasians, who have the least amount of vitamins and minerals in their body than any race. Their blood con uh, 25 hydroxyd concentrations have been measured, and here for the Mazai and for the Hadza, we have values of 110 to about 100 and some odd uh, nanomoles per liter. And if I average the two of those, because they're not statistically significantly different, that's the ancestral value. Now there, by comparison, is the Institute of Medicine value, and there is the Endocrine Society value. So you can see graphically the difference. That's where the problem begins. Now we're coming along, and you go to the hospital. Don't mess with doctors. You go to the hospital. They take your blood. They send it to the lab. But the lab values are based on white people's vitamins and minerals values. So when your vitamins and minerals way up here, drop all the way down to theirs, which is rated number one, their lab value is going to say, ain't nothing wrong with you, you're healthy. You said, but I don't feel good. I said, well, according to, ain't nothing wrong with you. It's in your mind, something, but your lab values say you're fine. No, no, no. Your vitamin and mineral level dropped all the way down to their normal level, which means you are twice as sick. So you go back and you look at all the disease categories and sure enough, you're twice as high in all of them because you're trying to be healthy by another race's melanin value. Whenever you have the high end of a lab value, like the, they take your blood, send it to the lab, and they show you these values, say 80 to 120 is normal. Well, if your value comes up to be 110, and that's almost close to the highest level there, almost, you got it. Whatever it is, you got it. The high end of that normal, you got it. The low end of that normal, you got it. That's how you interpret the lab values according to your vitamin and mineral content. You got to translate this stuff. You got to make this stuff black. They ain't going to do it for you. Say, so wait a minute. The normal value is numbers between 80 and 120, and I had 110. You got it. Whatever it is, you got it. That presents a problem. Why should they tell you that anyway? You think they're going to tell you something so you want to be free? You need vitamin D.